Hello, CD Bestie, Aku Monengo. Check out my interview with creativedisc.com, the number one music website in Indonesia. Hello CD Bestie, welcome back to another Creative Disc exclusive interview with me Lutfi and my guest today is very very unique one because he's already um, out with his new EP called After School Club. He's born part of Vietnamese and Americanist so and he has a double life too as a teacher. Oh that's a very very unique background because his music And his background in teaching is very, very different, I think. So let's talk about it with my guest today. This is Monyet Ngo. Am I spelling it right? Yes, you're spelling it right. Okay, uh, this is Monyet it's, it's, Ngo. Uh, yeah, Mo- I go by Monengo. Mone- so it's just a little bit a little bit different on the pronunciation, but mm. you got it right. And that was a beautiful intro. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so uh, before we start this interview... Uh, can we, uh, Mone, is it Monengo or? Uh, it... Yeah, Monengo. Monengo. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I and my audience didn't spell my uh, my name wrong, I I guess. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Mone, uh, what kind of activity that you are doing recently? What kind of activities am I doing recently? Yes. Oh, well, I just moved to L.A. So I've Ooh. been making a lot of new music. I moved to a new city, making new friends. Um, I actually just had a, a job interview today because because I moved different cities and I moved, I ch- kind of changed my whole life. I had to find a new teaching job and I, I just went to a job interview today and I got another job. So I am newly hired. I'm a, I'm a teacher at the Southern School, so I'm really happy about it. Wow! Congratulations. What kind of what kind of school? What kind of school? Uh, it's the same type of school. It's a private school. I'm mm. going to be a, a fifth grade teacher. Still music. Still music teacher. Uh, well, I, I'm not a music teacher. I oh. I just teach regular education. Oh wow! But uh, music is something that I'm very passionate about. But I I'd love to teach music. That that's definitely in the future plans. Wow! 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 Let's talk. Let's talk about it later. So. Uh, beforehand, let's talk about your music first. Uh, I I want to ask not who is Monengo, but what is Monengo? Uh, Monengo is uh, someone who is passionate about making a difference and someone who who just wants to make music and who wants to teach kids. And I think it's pretty... Simple, because I think both of those things are things that help me, you know, make a difference in others' lives and, and help spread, like, happiness oh. for myself and others, hopefully. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, let's talk more about your EP called After School Club. Tell me more about it. Uh, so After School Club is uh, this EP I just dropped. I uh, I produced every song on the album. I made all the the guitar tracks and all the drums. I did all of it, and uh, I made it in like kind of my bedroom. And the EP kind of just follows like different situations in my life. But the reason it's called After School Club is because I would love to create a community where everyone feels like they're welcomed. Everyone feels like they're a part of something bigger. And that's what I think the after school club is. It's a place where people who feel lost can feel like found. Okay, so uh, I think there's very very unique side about uh, after school club because you know I think it's kind of like an experimental album. I think uh, because you know it's kind of like many music in one hand and many like you know. There's a pitch shifting, pitch shifting, fuzzy guitar reverb all over the place and anything else. So what's the point of making this very, very experimental in this new EP? Um, I don't think there's a 
point to it other than it's just how I want to express myself. And sometimes that doesn't come out as something that's normal or it doesn't sound like something that everyone else might do. But I, I think I just, I tend to express myself in a way that others might not do the same. And I think everyone has their own, their own like piece of that where they're, everyone's kind of unique in their own way. So I think I think the experimental sound it's kind it's it's you know represent the uniqueness of your music and your listener I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh wow! So uh, I think after school club itself is a fit when you heard it on the midnight. Like when you, I think I think when you made it is it on midnight? So you know the after school club is have a midnight feeling about it. Oh, definitely daytime, nighttime, midnight. It can be listened at any time. Oh, really? I think I made the, I made it all at different times. So, I I like to make music at night. I like to make music in the morning. I think any time is a good time to be creative. Oh wow! So, uh, why uh why you still make an EP in the era of you know streaming era, all of the single single singles and not EP? <laughs> like why you make an EP as a your body your, your cohesive of work your body of work? Why you making EP? Good question. I think that I just wanted to define myself as an artist and I think that when you make a bigger project it tells more of a story about who you are and uh, I, I do love the idea of releasing singles and, I, and I, I do like that people listen to mostly singles nowadays rather than a bigger project but I think I just needed people to know who I am and that's why I released a bigger project. Oh wow! And I think there's so many. I think the Afro Soul Club is a very, very unique EP because I said it, you said you put so many experimental music in 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 one song, and you put like two songs in the one song. I think like you know after yeah. yes, like how what what's I your what's your decision I'm... behind it? Um, I guess sorry about the camera issues, it's but right. uh, I guess. I just love when uh, it just feels like there's more like a song should be like a story and mm. if you can fit two songs mm. in one story but still make it just one song you should do it I just like I like I like when songs switch up because it's it's like two complete like different uh, sounds mm. and you can just like make it one I love like contrast I love that when I love when things are different and they don't seem like they should work together, but they do. Oh, okay. The, 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 that's one I think like after smoke up is very very unique. Like, you know, I think I think you put uh, unpleasant feeling in your music. I think it's like it's like you know you put like unpleasant feeling on your listener. I think it's like a true. I think to to make a story to more real. I think I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Oh wow. Okay, so uh, let's talk about your another life as a teacher. Like, wow, I, I I didn't expect that you are a teacher because your after school club material and your anything like like material is 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 very far away for my from my thoughts about you being teacher. Like, how yeah. how does it feel to be like teaching people? Like, oh my god, it definitely feels like I'm living like two lives almost. But uh, I think that both those things uh, interact in a lot of ways. Like I love playing music for my kids. I love introducing them to music. I love playing guitar for them. But in for me in music, I love being able to keep like a childlike energy to it. Like I think when you make art, you should make it like as if you're a kid, you know, not thinking about what others think about your art you should just make it for what you like and be so, like experimental oh so kids I are think, always experimental yeah 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 so i think like uh, a part of you being teacher is a part of you to you know refresh the idea you know to making to making music more purely i think because you know you yeah. want to make a child like it's child like things on your music to become more real i think mm-hmm Yeah, that's oh. exactly it. And uh, you know, um, do you have any story to share about 
you know the 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 the, the funny experience or maybe like the you know the funny experience or maybe the interesting experience you as a teacher to us um well i remember probably on my last last couple of weeks at my school i was doing some watercolor with some students and uh i look at one of my students and i see that he has paint all over his mouth and i realized he drank some of the watercolor he drank some of the paint i thought that was like really funny and i was like why did you do that because you're not supposed to drink paint and he said that he just got really thirsty so i completely understand but i told him that he shouldn't do that and he's going to get a big stomach ache if he keeps drinking water from the paint <laughs> oh did 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 yeah did, kids are funny yes yes and and you know um but did your uh, did your uh, pupil like did your pupil did your student find out your music ever find out oh no oh no no I, i'm not sure maybe, maybe there's a chance uh i think hopefully one day they do hear it but, but you know i think i think your music uh, not, not suitable for kids like like you know like like elementary school it's it's so heavy you know Mm-hmm. Yeah, little some of the songs I think, I think some of the songs might be a little softer for them. So so maybe maybe some songs would be appropriate for them. <laughs> okay. I think, uh, I, yeah, I think Scare Bear or maybe Ruby Sparks can be like a lullaby, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe like when they are on the teenage teenage years, they found out, oh, this is my teacher. Oh my god, why why I didn't oh, yeah, realize that, that? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I love that. That would be so happy to find that out. Okay, so this is the very uh, hardest question on this interview. Many artists didn't uh, quite c- catch yet. So this is the uh, question. Mention five things we didn't know about Monengo. Here you go. Five things we didn't know. Uh, number one, I just moved to LA. Yes. I guess I already told you earlier, but that's something new in my life. Number two, uh, I love animals. I uh, I'm always hiking and looking mm. for animals. Mm. So I'm a big nature person. Mm. Number three, um, one of my favorite artists is Joji. Mm. Love Joji. I love Eighty Eight Rising. Number four, um, I have a dog named Juno. Ooh. He's really cute. He's a tiny little tiny dog. He kind of looks like a cow because he has like like spots all over him. <laughs> And uh, number five is that I used to play the piano when I was a kid, mm-hmm. but I grew up hating music. Coincidentally, I didn't like playing music, but Ooh. I eventually found my passion for it and my love for it later in life. So I think that you can do anything. You put your mind to, even if you don't like it, if you were a kid. Oh wow! Yeah. Five things. There you go. Okay, so I I found I found many interesting cover album in your back in your back. I think I uh, I can guess this is Connor Oberst, Sylvian Stevens, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Oh, you see you see the album. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I see do, that. Do you know these albums? Yes, I know Connor Oberst. Uh, the The app is like uh is like Rage Against the Machine, Savian Stevens. Uh-huh. I forgot yeah. about this one. I, I, I forgot about Bisat Savian Stevens. Yeah, Savian Stevens. Wow, you have you have good taste in music if you yes, know. Yes, 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 and I love my beautiful <laughs> Dark Twisted Fantasy. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's amazing it's, album. Yes, it's the best album. I still listen to Runaway until this day. <laughs> that's amazing yes that's amazing but not you know the current can you went the, the, the new current one is very very hey. yeah i i wonder what uh the music scene is like in indonesia and like what kind of music uh indonesian listeners are, are interested in uh you know the indonesian listeners is like you know there's many so mellow song if you want to make it big in indonesia You can find mellow songs. We love mellow, me- very, very mellow songs. We like Joji songs, like, you know, the mellow one. Glimpse mm-hmm. of Us is like top tracks of the months in three months, I think, mm-hmm. in Indonesia. Yes, it's kind of like wow. that. Awesome. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, so this is wrap up our interview. Thank you, Monengo, for this interview. Thank, thank you so, so much, much for yes, yes. Thank you so much for sharing with me and oh, uh, good luck for your EP and for your audience out there who view this. Uh, thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe to Creative this Creative this channel on YouTube. And don't forget to like Monengo on every social media platform. Uh, follow follow him and listen to. His newest EP called After School Club. Okay, this is Lutfi and my uh, friends, my new friends called Monengo. Signing off. Thank you very much. Bye bye.